Oh, oh boy. I'm on, guys. That is, what is that? Holy moly. Oh, baby, it's a good one again. What is up, guys? Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Benji Kim Fishing. First off, I want to thank you guys so much for getting me up to over 300 subscribers. I want to thank each and every one of you guys who've taken the time to subscribe and tune into my videos. It really means so much to me. And if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that sub and bell. I got weekly videos coming out and I'm just super excited to continue to share with you guys. So for today's video, I want to share my personal best 17.5 inch spotted bay bass. And I would actually not recommend what I did to be able to catch this guy. It was completely unexpected, total luck. I was targeting big Corbina on ultralight gear like I usually do, four pound leader, size eight mosquito hook, and sand crabs for bait. In addition to the personal best spotty that I'm able to catch, it actually turned into a pretty epic session. The bite was wide open for about one hour, and then after the bite completely shut off. So I wouldn't say that it was one of the best sessions that I've ever had, but for one hour, it was a really beautiful time. So I'm super excited to share this video with you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate the support, tight lines. All right guys, how's it going? So we are at targeting some Corbina again and we are at a spot where I've been tortured by some big Corbina. Tortured meaning I see them and they won't let me catch them. However, um, I'm back for some more. You know, these beans are super finicky and uh, the tide is high, not ideal conditions, but it should be bottoming out in the next hour or two. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna blind cast. I can't quite see the visibility is not so good and it's cloudy, but I'm just gonna kind of cast down there because they were just hanging out there um, using sand crabs and looks like I got a nice batch of soft shells. Like these two that I have pinned on here are soft shell. I just hook them through, the, through their back and come through and I just pin as many as I can. I could probably get one more on here, but just gonna stick to two this morning and uh, we're just gonna blind cast and uh, see if we can get lucky. Yeah, the conditions aren't ideal. Uh, there's a lot of white water where I want to be fishing right now and uh, definitely so there's a slight breeze. Um, the water's clear still but the visibility on the other hand is... Uh... Oh, there's a bite. That might have been the one. Oh, oh boy. I'm on guys. I didn't even set the hook and it's a good size bean. Yeah, baby. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna land this guy. Um, it's a good size. Oh boy. Um, I might have to try to bring him out of the mouth of the river, but it's a good size bean. This is the right kind for sure. Oh my goodness. Phew! I guessed right. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can get some eyes on this guy, but he is. Oh my gosh. Normally I'd loosen the drag, but I'm gonna keep it right where it is. Um, this is gonna turn out to be a long fight, guys. He's still pulling drag. Oh my gosh. This might be the one where... That is, what is that? That's a big old spotty. Holy moly. It's not a Corbina, it's a big old spotty. Big old spotted bay bass, guys. Oh. Oh 
Oh boy. Tide's rolling in here. Oh my goodness. No wonder it's fighting so hard, but this is a big old spotty. Woo! He came in pretty fast. Big old spotty, guys. Oh my gosh. Got a big old gash on my thumb, so I have a band aid on. And uh, I guess it's a good thing. Dude! Yeah, look at that guy. I'm gonna re release this guy, let him go, and that was nuts. Hopefully he'll be all right. That wasn't the best release in the world. Yeah, he's good, he's swimming away. Heck yeah, guys. All right, guys, so I just got in a almost 18 inch spotted bay bass on four pound test on the carolina rig with a 3 8 ounce bullet weight and a size 8 hook um go figure oh man something's biting me guys i don't know what it is yeah, my rod is twitching in a interesting way i'm getting bit by something i think it's something small but Got him. Something small. Oh, he's pulling a little drag. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a small bean. I didn't even know there were small beans here. Gotcha, guy. Hey, this is turning into an epic time. I am so stoked. Um, the fish are just biting. All right, guys, I made three casts. Got my personal best spotted bay bass and a little corbina and missed a strike. So that's three, three casts in a row where um, I've gotten a bite. The fish are clearly eating right now. You know, you realize um, you want to make, really be grateful, number one, for um, the sessions like this. Oh, well, who knows, you know, it's only been 30 minutes, but three casts, three strikes. Feel pretty good about where I am now. Um, looks like the drift is kind of bottomed out a little bit and my line is um, pretty much where I want it to be and it's just sitting there. I'm, on a oh there's a bite oh baby it's a good one again holy crap what kind of day is this oh my god oh dude uh not Maybe not as crazy as I thought. It might be a smaller bean. They always, they definitely run harder than you would think. Oh, dude, it's another spotty. What is going on? Dude, this is nuts. Never in a million years. This one's a smaller one, but still, dude. Still a good size, though. Jeez. I'm gonna have to retie my leader after this for sure. This is a, not a legal size. Um, nice little guy. Holy crap, this day is amazing. All right, guys. Um, currently having an epic session, um, one that I'll never forget. It's uh, one of those ones that you always talk about and remember. I'm pinning on two, two sand crabs. Got a decent amount of soft shells. Every single sand crab I've used has been relatively soft. I'm just pinning two of these on here through the back using a, what is this? It's a quarter ounce bullet C rig with an orange bead and a size 14 barrel swivel. I got a, just a four pound fluorocarbon leader, um, Seaguar Tatsu. 
and uh, six pound Seaguar R18 as a top shot um, on my Shimano Stratic um, and the E6X G Loomis. Um, and got two spotties and a small Corbina. And so the game has changed because I showed up today um, just targeting big Corbina, expecting, hoping for one bite. And uh, I've made four casts to five casts, um, three fish and one missed. And one cast that I redid just because I wasn't happy with it. And it's crazy on the last body I caught, I was just telling the camera, telling you guys that um, the drift had kind of bottomed out and my line was exactly where I wanted it to be. And then I got bit uh, mid-sentence. I wasn't able to, able to finish the sentence. Um, right now, I'm right where I want to be too. Oh, got a bite. There's something on there. Something small. Super small. Yellowfin croaker. So it's uh, today's gonna be a multi species day, guys. Got spotted bay bass, um, small corbina, and a small yellowfin croaker. So it's kind of weird. Super weird.